People may feel very sad and low in life for various reasons, such as personal losses, challenging life events, or struggles with mental health. It's essential to be strong during these times because resilience helps in coping with adversity, finding solutions, and maintaining a sense of hope. Strength enables individuals to navigate difficulties, seek support, and eventually rebuild their lives. Embracing strength doesn't mean suppressing emotions but rather facing them with courage and determination to overcome challenges. Here is a Buddhist and Zen story about 10 things you need to remember whenever you feel sad and low in life. Let's dive in. Once in a serene monastery nestled between mist-covered mountains, a young disciple named Kana sought solace. The wise old monk, Master Hashin, noticed the heaviness in Kana's heart and decided it was time to impart timeless wisdom to guide her through life storms. Master Hashin invited Kana to join him in the garden, where cherry blossoms swirled in the gentle breeze. Sitting beneath an ancient tree, the master began weaving a tapestry of teachings that would become Kana's compass in times of darkness. 1. Impermanence, Anitya. Master Hashin gestured towards the cherry blossoms. Life, like these petals, is fleeting. Embrace change, for it is the only constant. Cherish each moment, whether joyous or sorrowful. 2. Non-attachment, Anyapadana, hold the world lightly, the Master advised. Let go of attachments to material possessions and desires. True freedom lies in detachment, allowing the river of life to flow. 3. Compassion, Karuna, dot, Kana noticed a wounded bird nearby. Master Hashin gently cradled it and said, in compassion, find strength. Extend kindness not only to others but also to yourself. For in healing others, you heal yourself, for, mindfulness, Sadi. Be present in the here and now, Master Hashin urged. Banish worries of the past and fears of the future. The present moment is the key to unlocking peace within. 5. Right understanding, Samadithi. See the world as it truly is, the Master explained. Proceed beyond illusions, cultivate wisdom and understand the interconnectedness of all things. This clarity will guide your actions. 6. Patience, Conti, dot, Master Hashin pointed to a bamboo shoot slowly growing. In patience, discover resilience. Just as the bamboo withstands storms, endure life's challenges with unwavering strength. 7. Generosity, Dana, Dot, the master handed Kana a bowl filled with water. Give without expecting, like this water that nourishes the earth. Generosity creates abundance in both the giver and the receiver. 8. Equanimity, Upeka. Maintain balance amidst life's highs and lows, Master Hashin advised. Do not be swayed by external circumstances. Embrace a tranquil mind, untouched by the turbulence of emotions. 9. Silence, Mauna, dot, the garden's stillness enveloped them. Find solace in silence, the master whispered. In quietude, the mind settles, revealing the profound wisdom that resides within. 10. Self-reflection, Vipassana, dot, look inward, Master Hashin said, gazing into a crystal-clear pond. Reflect on your thoughts, actions, and emotions. Through self-awareness, transform darkness into light. As Kana absorbed these teachings, a sense of tranquility enveloped her. The Master smiled, knowing that these ten guiding principles would be a lantern in her darkest nights. In the embrace of the timeless wisdom, 
Kana embarked on her journey with a heart fortified against the storms, guided by the gentle whispers of the cherry blossoms and the echoes of the wise old monk. Thanks for watching Buddhist and Zen Story. If you enjoyed the content, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more. Stay tuned for upcoming videos, and remember, your support keeps this channel going. See you in the next one.